Hello everyone and welcome back to another Get Ready With Me. Um, I already have on my foundation, um, so the base is already on. So we're just going to do the eyes today. Um, I will be using um, items that I received out of the Ice Cream Beauty Box for the month of August. But if this is your first time here, I do want to let you know that I am not a makeup artist, so I'm not an MUA. I do love to play in makeup and try to perfect things, and I have not probably perfected anything yet so um we're gonna go ahead and get started um the items that i will be using again i have this palette that came from the ice cream beauty box i have this lippy which is like a lip gloss primer for mascara and i believe a mascara um i am going to go ahead and prime my eyes with this is from Fenty. It's um, currently my favorite eye primer. So, and I was introduced um, to this primer from Dion, um, AKA Miss Dion or Dion Loves Makeup, however you may know her. And you only need a little bit. Um, and I usually just spread this out with my fingers. very um, tacky not really like sticky but your eyeshadow is not going anywhere so this is the palette that I got from ice cream beauty um, it does have some glitters some mattes and going with the shirt color it would be an orange and black but we'll see because sometimes this black is a glitter Maybe it's a topper. Maybe it's a topper. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and I have Juvia's place out as well. This is the chocolates palette. It looks like this. I like it because it's just that. All chocolates. All chocolates. So I so if I I also can use this as a transition um, palette. So or Yes, that. Um, so I'm going to use this brown here to kind of get started with, and then I may go into that orange and that black. I'm going to keep it really simple because my videos have been really long, and I want to make certain that everybody, you know, watches. And once they get really lengthy, um, I don't know that people care to watch the longer ones, so we're going to try to keep it short. And that's why I already have on my foundation and stuff, so I'm going to try to keep it short. Keep it short. Let me zoom in a bit. There we go. Again, this is the orange. Sometimes it may come across um, not as orange on me. So yeah, it's very pale, um, but you can probably build it up. I'm gonna swatch the black as well. So those are the two shades. Very pale, but let's try it. Maybe I need a, let me try this, just this brush here and see if we can't you know, get it a little more packed on. Let's see. Kinda looks a little dusty. But you get that with some of these um, colors on deeper skin tone, so you have to build it, or sometimes they just don't work out. Sometimes they just don't work out. Okay. Kind of almost looks like a, a soft brown, but definitely not an orange for sure. my finger and see if it kind of builds up anymore because it makes a little bit of orange but definitely not a lot so let me just try with my finger it's not really that deep even on my finger so we're gonna try to deepen it up a bit yeah. sometimes that pigment is just not there I mean it's not bad but Let it be. 
Um, and then we're gonna use, let's see if I got another. We did get this primer and you put this on prior to your mascara so we're going to try this out as well i've been using the grande i think it's grande lash serum and absolutely love it and i think it's been helping my eyes the eyelashes supposed to put it on your top lashes so that's what I've been doing I haven't done anything with the bottom lashes I don't want to get anything in my eye I literally have no bottom lash so um I have a lip liner here from, I think that's from Mac and I have an eyeliner it's a pencil and, okay. I'm do a little bit on the bottom try to take it up to make it look like a wing. This is from Fenty as well. This is the brow pencil. Also introduced um, from Dion. These are uh, part of a giveaway that I love from her. She has some amazing giveaways, y'all. Also got from Ice Cream Beauty. This is in black, and then this one was from Medusa. Same as the palette. So, very small wand. And I'm pretty sure this is. Said it was a mascara, but it's awful small. Yeah, it's a mascara. I've never seen a wand that small. Usually, when they're that small, they're for brows. But I use it. It's my favorite mascara is from Rare Beauty. Which is right. It's my favorite. Now, why did I just do this mascara and I didn't even do the liner on top of it? Okay. I'm going to put it underneath anyway because I use it as a more of a thickening to make my lashes look fuller than anything else. Okay, what do you all think of the mascara? Not bad. And then I, I'm just going to use this. I use this underneath um, just so that my lashes look a little thicker. and it 
does um, provide some, it makes your lashes look thicker with that. So this is my lip liner from MAC Chestnut. And I think the Alice in Wonderland from ZC is a gloss. So that's what we're gonna use. I was gonna give it to Jaquayla, but it has like this brown tint to it, but it's not really showing up brown. So that is my get ready with me. Hopefully it wasn't too long and hopefully you stayed until the end. Um, so leave me a comment down below. Let me know, do you, do you have this palette? What do you think of it? Um, it's not highly pigmented, um, but I feel like it worked today. Um, the primer, we'll still have to continue to test this. Um, not a fan of the mascara, but it's open, so we're gonna use it. And then the, I don't know. This didn't really have, it's glossy. It's not sticky. It's comfortable, but you would think that there would be more pigment with that shade. But yes, I don't know. So let me comment down below. Let me know what you thought about this Get Ready With Me. Again, I am not an MUA, but I do love to play in makeup. I did not do any um, blush. Hmm. I'll put on some blush. And then I'll show the picture afterwards. So that's all I have for you on this video, and I'll see you all on another video.